If this is the first time you're hearing this piece, I guarantee you will love it because it's so fun and challenging. And if you want to know how I practice for this piece, welcome to join my practice session. Hi everyone, this is Scarlett and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be playing this piece by one of my favorite composer, Piazzolla. Actually, I just got back from work and I finally have some me time to practice. If you are also a working adult or you are a student, you have been busy the whole day, I know you are very tired, but don't worry, you can hit the pause. I'll be here waiting for you. You just go take a break and come back later to join my practice session. So, and today I'll try not to edit the video too much because I want to be um, as transparent and as natural as possible. So that way you can see how I practice and how I fix the problem on the spot. So last but not least, if you like this kind of videos, please support my channel by hitting the subscribe button. So now just get your instrument and let's get started. Hello everybody, so now I'm tuning and I've already warmed up myself and the instrument so if you have not, feel free to pause this video and take a 5 to 10 minutes um, uh, time to warm up yourself, okay? And now I'm just trying the first um, few notes, just make sure that when I run through it, I start right <laughs> yeah it's very tricky on the grace note you see from e to d back to e and to d and before i start um i just want to share with you about my practice strategy for today which is i'm going to run through the whole thing without stopping and i will break it down into details later Just taking some time to scroll to the next page. This part, the double tongue is clearer than the previous one. Thank you. 
Okay, so I just ran through the whole thing. And now go back to top. Okay. Well, <laughs> just a sip of water. And definitely you can hear the saliva is kicking in at the end of the uh, run through. So when I was running through, I have uh, already a spot, a different spot in my mind that I wanted to work on. Yeah, and this note E is definitely um, sharper than I thought, so... Now I'm just trying to slow it down and get the grace note um, articulated right. I was at um, 80. Okay. And I also try to memorize it. I don't want to um, stick it like my eyes into the score. So it's also a good way if you can't memorize the part that you feel um, it's not smooth. So you make sure that you know exactly what the notes are and also the fingerings. Now I'm changing the um, rhythm. Long short or short long. So I practice um, different um, duration, um, different length of the intervallic relationship. And my muscle got cramped a little bit, so I relax. And you find it too fast, you can slow down the tempo, but make sure that when you are breaking it down to details, you work with a um, metronome on. And I try to be very accurate when I tongue to D, grace note to E. So I'm just going back and forth the four notes, including the next beat. repeat three times in a row so that um, and I don't make mistake and I think I'm good to move on so at least three times if you're not sure maybe you can make it five or even ten Okay, I think I'm ready to move on. So I already have this circled in my music. So the next thing I'm going to work on is the front B to the side E, which is very tricky. That's the finger I'm using. I'm not going to the G sharp, instead I'm playing the E. So from E, B, E, B to E. A it's kind of challenging for me so I turn on the subdivision so just make sure that I'm always hitting the offbeat as well you see I'm aiming the A instead of focusing on the E itself 
is the eight that I focus so that I won't get delay. I also play around the long short rhythm. Make sure that from the front to the side and back to the front is um, smooth. Drew um arrow on top of B E B those three split. Just want to make sure that when my air my air is um keep going like smooth. Because sometimes when you encounter the difficult fingerings, you might not be aware of your air flow. So I always write an arrow so that my air speed is faster. In that sense, you see, <laughs> I'm shaking my left hand and I'm checking on the time, make sure that I don't exit the time limit. I always keep myself in like 20 to 25 minutes when I work on something because if I over that, my muscle got really tired. Also try to memorize this part. Ding dee dum, dee 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 dum. I try to sing it in my mind. I also check on the open C sharp. Sometimes it sounds very flat, like open. Like a. I'll try to make it rounder. The next triplet I'm working on is bar 18. As you can see, I don't um, start from the beginning and then go over and over for the whole thing. I just pick the spot that I think I need to polish more. And yeah. And I'll try out a few rhythm or tempo. Just make sure that it's already in my um, muscle memory. Okay, now I'll move on to the triplet. Tonguing. So I'll alternate um, the straight rhythm like da ka da 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 da. So I'm writing uh, last master. Um, That I write it too fast, I don't even know what I'm writing. Oh, tension. Oh, yeah, last muscle tension because when I do the triplet, I tend to push too much air, which makes my last two 16 notes um, doesn't sound good. It sounds very cramped, like. Tense. So what, I, what would I do is I wrote um, crescendo and decrescendo. So it feels like. 
タカタタタタカタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタThe tongue, make sure you just pick one note instead of、um, playing the written so you can focus on one thing at a time. I increase the tempo. Push more air towards the triplet, but I kind of slow down my airspeed when it comes to the last two sixteen. So my tongue is lighter. Crack my weed, so make sure when you're cleaning your saliva, you don't break your weed. I increase the tempo again, and I make sure I can sing it before I play. When I sing it, I can、um, see myself、uh, my air speed clearer. So instead of just playing over and over and over, I would sing it before my last track. So still、um, some hesitation. So if I can't get the tempo right today. This is something that maybe I'm gonna work on the next day, next week. And then I'll put it a longer phrase. Quite right. Still not satisfied. Going into the next beat, da da da. If I think of like picking up into the next beat, it makes the whole phrase um lighter and easier. Sharp over there. I have to 
be careful. So it's very good that I listen back to my own um, recording. Then it's like one more time you can, I'm working, um, practicing actually. So I can make a note that be careful, this part you are getting higher and higher. Like how many times we have to um, go to a lesson and a teacher tells us like, Oh, hey, this part you are going to uh, too sharp, too flat. But instead, actually, you yourself can do it. You just have to record and listen back. Mm -hmm. This is also a tricky part for me. The D sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the D. I will try to balance the A and the D tone. And then the A. So before you hit the altissimo, make sure you already have the pitch in your head. So I have the metronome and tuner in front of me. So always when I hit the note, I would check whether I'm in tune or not. This part, I'm using my air to attack instead of the tongue. So, and I wrote slur and air support just to make sure We just have to make sure that we hit the note right and it's smooth. So I drew a circle and make sure it's I'm on the right rhythm. So it's one beat. Eleven. the note G so sometimes I tend to slow down at the dotted and the 16 so make sure I do, 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 do. I keep the rhythm moving so I turn on the subdivision So instead of always going from D to G, I start from the G all the way up to D. It's actually a skill.
So I'll work on the last double tone. It's better if you have a harder read when you play this part. Alright, so that's all for the practice session. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this video inspired you to love music, the saxophone and to practice because I've known many people they give up on practicing or play the instrument because they simply don't have time, energy and the effort to do it but, but if you have the passion, please do not give up because at the end, you will see the result, all right? So don't worry, I'll be here to practice with you, work hard with you, and work smart together, okay? So if you like this kind of video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Let us know how you feel. So I hope to see you again. Happy practicing and goodbye!